family, what's going on? I had a few things I wanted to kind of talk about. I had a good brother, I was just, me and him was just having some words, we was just talking. And uh, he was asking me a few questions that I kind of wanted to put out there and ask you all. And one of the questions that he was asking was, where do I think Booth Rent is going with the increases in commercial rental property? And my thoughts of, and, and, these, and this is one of the things that I thought about a while ago, long time ago, been a while. Um, during the time that the Booth Rental actually came into play. Because I, because I was able to see how the pioneers before us you know how they did business in the barber industry and when they did bar business in the barber industry they were really thinking like businessmen as far as they didn't just buy the barber shop they bought the whole block and just thinking how they did business because actually during that time business was actually you know actually working on commission so they was able to you know receive money to be able to you know do that type of business but when Blueprint came into play, then each individual barber actually became a business owner because he was actually renting a chair and he was able to operate his business in a sense of, you know, this is this chair is my business. So he was able to operate his business, his chair as a business itself, which was pretty cool. But what that deal was, it put us into a whole nother avenue of doing business in the barber industry. Now we have come to a point to where is booth rental is going to sustain us and carry us out into the industry that we could afford these commercial buildings or are we going to have to raise our booth rental high? You know, so it just starts on where this is going to take the barber industry because commercial buildings are getting high and they're getting very expensive to purchase outright. So, what happens? You know, where, did it, where, did, where is it going to take them as far as the industry? Now, you have a lot of barbers is going in a sense of saying, you know, I'm a cut in my garage, you know, and they're thinking of, you know, uh, other alternative things that they can do, you know, to get away from the booth rental. But, you know, do I think that's the answer? No, I don't really think that's the answer either because when we do that, you know, it takes us out of the professionalism of the barber industry and the barber culture. So anytime something, anytime you go, you have to do something to go out the professional side of it, you know, then, you know, you kind of, you know, putting yourself in trouble's way because, you know, you have to always keep it professional. And, you know, like I always say, and not to get off point, but like I always say, you can always tell what a community is doing by looking at their businesses inside the community. So now let's go back to the barber rental uh, little talk that we have. So just, just a question. What do y'all think as far as, you know, the barber rental and where we going at as uh, an industry and what's going to happen to the industry? with the increase in prices in the buildings itself for the rent itself and it's forcing the barber barber chair rentals to be increased as well so you know where do we think we're going <laughs>